So over here you can see that I have um, the storyboard project right here. And let's say what I want to do is apply out directional blur instead of a regular blur. So in that case, what you have to make sure is, first of all, you need to have a bitmap layer. And then if you um, have a vector layer instead, you can go around and convert this into a bitmap layer by right clicking on a layer right here and by going around over here and by clicking on convert to bitmap layer. In my case, this is already a bitmap layer, so I can go to apply effect and here you can see that directional blur is an option. So if I were to click on this, you can go around and then um, apply out the effect that you want. Let's say for example, for length, I'm going to add in 10 right here, just like this and press preview and you will be able to see the directional blur preview right here. I'm going to go around and change around the width over here as well. So you can see that you can go for length and width blur right here. So let me just go around and let's say for width, I'm going to keep it zero itself. So the length itself um, is 10 right here. You can go around, change around the angle of the blur over here as well. And you can see that the angle is changed. And if I were to click on bi-directional right here, just like this and preview, then what happens is that instead of blurring out in one direction, it blurs out on the other direction as well. You can work around with the fall off, let's say for example, and press preview right here. And then the fall off uh, rate changes out as well. So I'm just going to go around and let's say I'm going to do something like uh, five right here, press preview right here. And you can see that the fall off is a bit less right here. Let me just go around, keep zero uh, so that I can have a lot of bliss right here. There's iterations right here, so you can work around with the level of detail of the blur over here as well. Once you click on these, you can go around, click on five right here, just like this. Then you can see that it changes out. So here you can see that after everything is done, if you want to apply out the directional blur, you can go around and then press OK. And then it says the artwork may be cropped while converting into a new bitmap layer right here because this is a... Uh, uh, currently not in the bitmap format. Uh, so once I do that, you can see that it has been converted into a bitmap layer and then you got the directional blur over here as well. So that is how you can work around and apply directional blur inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.